Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of art in the style of Marianne Atanasov. And you'll see in Photopia, I have already opened a photograph that I took up in London of a building I think would work for this particular piece. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of the sky in the background. So I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool and start down the bottom of this building. And I'm going to go up the side, nice and easy. And I'm going to go to the corner and I'm going to go just up enough to cheekily take that flag out of the action as well. And I'm going to go back down because really at the moment all I'm getting rid of is this set of clouds. So once I join the two together, I press delete and that's got rid of the clouds on that side. And then there are a few wisps on the other side here. So I'm going to do the same thing and go from the building and up and over and down again. Okay, and then I'm going to press delete again and that's going to get rid of that. The rest I can take out with the uh, magic wand tool. I'm just going to zoom out, grab the magic wand and press there and it highlights the whole of that because it's one type of colour. Press delete and that's got rid of my background for me. Okay. And now I want to resize my building, so I'm using the rectangular select, then grabbing the arrow tool and holding shift, I'm just going to shrink the building down. I'm also going to get rid of the unsightly darker bit at the bottom, so I'm left with a nice building. And I think it's a little bit too small, I'm going to just make it a bit bigger. The idea is to leave enough room at the top so that when we start to take bits off, we have space for them to be floating in the air above the building. Okay, right, now we need to worry about the background. So I'm gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna drag it underneath. And I have already in another tab, got a piece of the artist's work here. And I'm gonna use the color picker. So I'm gonna click on that color and then go to the top of that piece of artwork. So I grab that color, click OK. Then I'm going to open the other color picker, click at the bottom of the piece of work, and that gives me both of those colors that I'm then going to use the gradient tool to fill the background with. So I drag down and it fills the background with the darker color, gently grading down to the lighter color. Okay. Right, now we need to work on our building. So I'm gonna zoom in. And I'm gonna grab the polygonal lasso tool again. And I'm going to start cutting out a chunk of my building. Um, the best thing to do here to know your angles is to go by the features that are on the building already. So I know the angles and the perspective lines, because I already have the windows to help me as my guide. So I'm just gonna follow the contours of the building, go back up, and then go, you've got to be quite careful, you wanna make sure you've got the right angle, otherwise it won't look realistic. And go down, again using the windows to help me with the right angle and then up to the top, staying straight, and then going back round, top of the building, and down the side. Until I get back to the beginning, okay? I'm then going to zoom out, there we go. And I'm going to grab the arrow tool and I'm going to drag it away from the building to where I want it floating in the sky. Okay. Right now I need to worry about that bottom and chunk to make it look like it's been actually chopped out of the building. So I'm going to zoom in again 
And I want to do this bottom chunk on a new layer, so I'm going to grab a new layer, drag it underneath my building, and then I'm going to get the polygonal lasso tool again, starting from that corner. And again, this is where checking the angles of the building and the windows is going to help you. I've gone further than I need to on purpose, so I'm going to cut that out. And I go back round, making sure I'm underneath the building, back to the start again. And I have a space that I now need to fill. So I'm going to grab the lightest colour I can find on the building. And then I'm going to use the paint bucket to just fill that area. And now it's filled, I need to just trim off that bottom edge. So again, polygonal lasso tool. And mm, can't really see the corner. I'm gonna just make that layer invisible so I can see the corner. I know the angle that I want to go to because I've got the buildings closest to me and the windows to look at. And then I'm just going to do a big enough space to know I've definitely got that area in there. And bring the layer back so I can see it. And there you go, I've definitely got it in there. Then I press delete. And there you go, back to where I need it to be. Okay. Right. Now you can see the whole thing there. I need to put a gradient onto that. So I'll zoom in. And making sure I'm on the right layer. I'm going to magic wand that area and then I want to grab a dark colour and I'm going to grab the colour from one of the darkest windows. So I've got the grey and the dark colour and then I'm going to use the gradient tool and drag it from one side to the other and this is where you're going to have to kind of play a little bit to get the right angle of shade that you want and also the right amount of darkness and lightness. I'm happy with that. Okay, just zoom out so you can see it. And now it's time to worry about the bit that we've cut out of the building, making it look like there's still building there. So we zoom in and make a new layer and drag that underneath. Oh, it is already underneath, which is good. And grab the polygonal lasso tool as we did before. Again, checking our angle, making sure it's equivalent to the rest of the building. Going back round, so we've got that shape masked off. And I've already got the colours I need, so I'm just going to go straight to the gradient tool. And just, there we go, that will do nicely. Okay, again I'll show you. So we now have one piece cut out of our building. Okay. Now we're going to go for another piece over on the right hand side. So, yep, this piece here. So we're going to zoom in. And I'm going to start at the top. Make sure I'm on the right layer. And again, using the features on the building as my guide to make sure I'm getting my angles accurate. In this case, the windows. I'm going to go down and follow the contour of the building, up and round, down and up again. It takes time, you want these to be accurate. Once you're happy, go back and up and around, join the selection together. So now I've got that, I can zoom out. Go to the arrow tool and drag this piece up so it looks like it's floating in the air. Okay. Now in the same way as I did with the first piece, I'm going to grab the polygonal lasso tool. I'll zoom in first. Okay, and grab the polygonal lasso tool. And again, from that corner, paying attention to my angle, I'm going to go up and over and back up again. 
and over behind the building and then join the two. Okay, and then I'm gonna use the gradient tool again and I've still got the colors there. So I'm gonna oh, make sure I'm on the right layer. Drag the gradient tool over. Again, little change in angle, I think. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Now I've made a new layer because I'm going to do the other side of this block. Okay, go to polygonal lasso tool and then from the corner, dragging down again, watching out for the angles. And you'll notice I'm overshooting again on purpose so I can trim it off. This time I'm getting a lighter shade of gray because this side is gonna be facing the light. Then I'm gonna use the paint bucket tool and just fill in that space. Okay. Right, and just drag that layer below. There we go. Right, and then I need to trim off the bit. So I'm gonna zoom in a bit. And then grab the polygonal lasso tool and from that corner go up and back over and round and then once it's covered press delete and off it comes but I still need to give that side a bit of a gradient so it's not so plain so I'm going to Again, grab a gray, this time it's a middle gray. So I'm gonna have light to middle gray and then magic wand that space. So I can then use the gradient tool and drag down and fill it up. Again, play with this until you're happy with the angle and the amount of shade you've got. And once you're happy, you can zoom out and take a look at what we've got so far. Now I want to start putting some holes into our building. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in down the bottom right hand corner here. And exactly the same way as I've done before, I'm going to paying attention to the features of the building, cut out a rectangle and then once I'm happy with that, I'm going to make sure I'm on the right layer. I'm going to press delete and that's going to get rid of that. And then I'm going to create a new layer, drag it underneath and grab the polygonal lasso tool again. Very much our friend this time. And I'm going to make an angle again, paying attention to the angles of the windows, making sure it's the same angle, go up and around join them together. So I have like a top and a side and I'm gonna go back to the original block and color pick my gray and my dark gray again. So I've got those same colors again. And those are the colors I'm gonna use the gradient tool to fill this space with. And you want it to be quite dark, really. There you go, looks too dark almost at the moment. But when I do the other bit, which I'm doing now, starting from that corner, going down and around with the polygonal lasso tool till I get back. I'm then gonna grab the gradient tool, drag across it. And I think that's the angle. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay. And then if I zoom out, you can see that looks like a hole now, okay? Of course, you can play with this as much as possible, making sure your gradients and your angles are exactly how you want them. Now we're gonna do another hole. We're gonna put it in the front of the building here, up the top. And it's exactly the same process. I'm gonna be quick now, just down, around, and up again and then making sure you're on the right layer press delete and make a new layer drag it underneath 
and grab the polygonal lasso tool again. Draw from the corner, making sure your angle's right, and go up and over, and then grabbing the gradient tool, filling it mostly with darkness, except for the last little bit. There you go, okay. Polygonal lasso tool again. I'm losing things. There we go. From that corner, over, and down, and up again. Okay. And then gradient tool again. Drag it. Get the right angle. And no, a bit more. Okay, that's good. Lovely. And now I'm going to do one last hole in that little bit there. And so I'm going to zoom in. And as with the others, grab the polygonal lasso tool and create my shape going with the features of the building and back up again. And once again, making sure I'm on the right layer before pressing delete Then making a new layer. and drawing the right angle, going up and around, and then I'm going to fill that with the gradient tool, like that. Then one last bit to do, from the corner, down and back up again and then grabbing the gradient tool and dragging it across getting the right angle that we want that looks pretty good okay and then if I zoom out that could be considered to be the final piece if you want but I like to just, at the end of it, merge all of my building layers together and then go to Image, Adjustments, Colour Balance and just move this so you can see the picture. And I'm just going to bring up the red a little bit and bring up the blue a little bit. And with that addition of a little bit more colour, that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it helpful.